Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MSTX. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of those candlesticks, each one of these candlesticks here, sorry about that, my marker tool is messing up, but instead of each one of these representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one of them represents 30 minutes. While that may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. And the big question yesterday was, uh, in regards to the move right here, you know, did this move have any sort of true power behind it? You know, does it have any true power behind it? And in a nutshell, uh, you know, I just made the argument that, well, if it does have any true power, it's gonna start to make progress forward and put in higher lows. And I define higher lows as staying up above 13 and a half cents. And today, uh, not only did the price stay above it, uh, it looks as though the bulls are trying to build even a higher stair step, and that new stair step being directly here at 14 cents, which you can see on multiple occasions, the bears try to press down through, uh, but each time the bull said, you know, not gonna happen. So uh, if that can indeed remain the case, then that's definitely a, a good solid step in the right direction. Now, if the price does fall below 14 cents, not saying that everything's ruined, because again, still have 13 and a half cents down here. Uh, but like I said, um, not the most exciting day because it's not like the price exploded upwards, uh, but a healthy day, uh, actually a very healthy day, assuming this can you know continue to maintain itself where the new level of support is at 14 cents. So keep it on that. I'm not gonna put a green line there just because it's not like it's a do or die level of support or anything, uh, but just understand that you know preferable, preferably speaking going forward, the price staying up above 14 cents like it did today would certainly make the chart look the healthiest. In regards to levels of resistance, Key level is still right here, the red line, 14 and a half cents, as I talked about. Yes, multiple times the price did break above it today, uh, but can never get a true break, and a true break being defined as not only breaking above a certain level, but then being able to stay above it, you know, maintain the break. And the whole maintaining the break is where the bulls couldn't quite do it, as, you know, both times the price did ultimately fall back below the 14 and a half cents level. So that's still got to be considered an area of resistance. All in all, though, Good solid day, I'd consider it a very healthy day. So we'll see if 14 cents can hold. If not, then 13 and a half cents is definitely that must hold level uh, continuing to go forward. So we'll see how the price closes out the week tomorrow. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.